but if you're not staying in the gun, it means something's a little bit off back here. Just to the right. Good elevation? Yeah. So just too much wind. Yeah. All right, we're good then. Well guys, it's opening day of deer season, rifle deer season here in Oregon. We've been in here, this is be the start of our third day now. Came in a couple of days early to scout, try to find something worth shooting. Actually, we've been having our best morning so far. Spotted four bucks total, uh, a few more does. We're just in a unit, nothing, nothing special. Not known to have monsters or anything like that. We're just out here deer hunting, trying to find a couple mature bucks. But it's gonna be a grind, numbers are low. Um, so we'll, we'll make the best of it. Tim and I both have tags in our pockets. Things might change, roles might reverse real quick here if, if Tim finds a buck that he wants to put his tag on. Um, so stay with us. We're just scanning big country, rolling hills, sage. Um, it's big open desert country out here. So we'll do our best to turn up a couple good bucks. just spotting from the road this morning. Um, we're spotting about two miles away up on a big rock rim. Um, we spotted three more be bucks bedded down. Two of them look really nice. Um, the one looks kind of heavy and tall, and the other one's wider, and we might have thought we saw a kicker on them. But again, we're looking, we marked it on our Onyx maps. It's 2.25 miles away. So um, we're gonna try to loop around and come over, and get on top of them. Just, we found a road through the BLM. We went loop way around and we're about a mile from the rim right now. We have three bucks bedded, probably only 150 yards below the rim. Um, the sage is so tall up there, every time the bucks would get up and move and bed back down, we couldn't see them anymore. But we're hoping we pinned the bucks where we spotted them. Um, we're hoping we can just pop over this rock and since we have a high vantage, we can see down on the sage and find them bedded. We've got two tags, so this might get interesting. guys we got up here peeked over this cliff and we can see where they were bedded but with the sun hitting them they must have just moved beds and worked their way around to get shade so we're just gonna take our time it's middle of the day so there's no rush but we're just gonna work around this rim and keep peeking off and hopefully we can find them bedded below us there's really nowhere they could have gone where we wouldn't have seen them so we're hoping they just scooted around the edge here to get better shade The narrow one. I think the narrow one's the shooter. Like number one shooter. And the wide one I think is number two. We're gonna figure out to get closer to these guys. That one looks nice. Yeah. I can't I just see. 
Well guys, it's about three o'clock. We've just been sitting under the shade tree having some lunch, but I snuck up and getting a better look at these bucks we spotted under the shade tree. And there's actually three bucks there uh, from the looks of it. The mirage is really bad, so it's hard to see. They're about 1,400 yards out. Um, so we're gonna pop over this canyon and get down this drainage and see if one, we can get a better look at him, and two, if we can get closer. I can't tell for sure, but one looks pretty good. He's he's bedded with his head flat on the ground, so I, I can't really see him, but he, he looks like he's got a frame on him, so we'll get closer and see. Steps forward, I'm going to take him. Hit. Coming towards us. Right of the tree. Hit him? Yeah. There's a big one. He's looking around. There's the narrow one. He's down. Um, get on the camera. Get in there. I'm on the wide one, Tim. Red one's running down the road, down to the left. Mm -hmm. Might want to range with my binos. He stopped. Follow the ridge down to see him. All right. Okay. You! You! Me! Stay on him. Push in front of me. Well, what happened, Ty? We were close. We were cl 
You guys about just wis witnessed a Oregon public land double. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Yeah. So my, the narrow buck came out at 668, hammered him, he ran on the hill and tipped over. And once I realized he was down, the three point, the big white three, he's just standing there. I'm like, damn, get in. He got on right as he got probably on him. Yeah. He took off running down the hill. Started running. I followed him. I had to hop on Tim's camera, which I've never ran. <laughs> I followed him down the hill. He stopped again at what would you range? About five, I think 580. 580, yeah. okay. So he stopped there and he stopped there for a good bit. And Tim was just taking his oh. extra second to like make sure he was steady. And the buck took, took off. off. He's gone. Ran down the hill. And we'll see if we can get him later. But that was fun. Good job. Good thing good is, is, we didn't bump him too bad. Like with the suppressor, he didn't really know what to think. And uh, he was just kind of looking around. So. We found this area today, kind of got it figured out. So we'll just come in here tomorrow on the snob, and I guarantee that buck will come back up here in bed somewhere. Yeah, we'll get a crack at him. That's fun. Doubles are tough. It would suck to pack two out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, <it would. laughs> that was yeah. cool. This buck, to be honest with you guys, we I don't know. Like he's not a giant, but he's cool. He's really tall and narrow. Um, looked like he had some junk going on. He might even have some velvet hanging on him still. So it's been tough. The numbers have been low. So. Let's go take a peek at him. Hopefully he's as cool as he looked on camera. Oh, he looks cool. Man. Tim, he's better than we thought. Are you kidding me? Look how cool this deer is. We knew he had some junk going on. Holy, look at his bases. Oh, I didn't, I actually didn't think he was, I knew he was heavy, but I didn't think he was this heavy. Oh my God. You're kidding me. Oh. Okay, Tim, if that three point was next to this buck all day, that, that, that three point's bigger than we think. Dude, look at this, he's still got velvet. Oh, oh, it's stuck around the top of his horn. It's actually loose. Look at his bases. My whole hand is wrapped around that. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Look at that, 668 yards. I don't know what to say. This is a stud. First Oregon buck for me. Public land Oregon, not even a crazy sought after unit. We just came in blind, picked out a couple areas and found some deer. We struggled up until today though. We, uh, we hadn't seen many deer or many bucks worth even looking at. And today we found a little pocket of them. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's awesome. We have probably what, a two mile pack out back to the ranger? Something like that, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just for anyone wondering here, I'm running. This is our new seven PRC built on our new extreme action machine by Defiance um, under the same ownership. So Defiance machine is some of the best actions in the world. So this is a new and improved action for us. Scope bases are integrated, recoil lugs integrated, guaranteed headspace, all the bells and the whistles. Um, it's lighter. This rifle here is our Badlands build, topped with the Night Force NX8, 4-32. to I'm running a 22-inch carbon barrel uh, because I run suppressed. I'm running my Rugged Ridge Extreme Bipod, 7-10 to inch. I'm shooting the Burger 180s. Oh, man. I'm stoked. I honestly didn't think this deer was that heavy. I knew he was heavy, but I am shocked. Stay with us, guys. We'll go fill Tim's tag tomorrow, hopefully. Water. We ran out of water. I cannot wait to drink water. Oh yeah. <laughs>